All right, Red Wiggler update. Okay, Cocoon. Same worms. Nice healthy worms here. Okay. Hey, this is a big one. It doesn't have the stripe stripings of the European night caller, so I'm calling it a red wiggler. I may be wrong. bin, red wiggler bin, mixed with blues. Mm -hmm. I think this is the side of the last feeding. This is an avocado pit. And there are worms on the surface. Okay. Okay. Let me check the side. See what's going on. is a, a group of worms. They look like uh, blue worms to me. Uh oh, where are they? There we go. You're being recorded. Okay. Let me see if this is the side of the last feeding before I move. It seems like it is. Let me see. Oh, this is long. Let me see underneath. Up. Yeah, there were. Yeah, they're there. And this is a perionix. Uh oh, I don't think you can see that. Yeah, this is a perionix. Yeah. Yes, 
And there are worms in there and they already got into it. Again, uh, plums. Plums. Was it plums? Oh no, avocado. The potworm and potworm magnet. Okay, let's bury that up. Potworm and mite uh, magnet. Okay. All right, I'm moving on to the other side. Sorry guys, I'm low energy. Okay, this is the other side of this, of the, of the bin. And just seeing how things are going in here. I don't see any worms yet, but it doesn't mean, okay. Here's one. It doesn't mean there's nothing in there. Sometimes I just don't see them. Okay, there's worms here and there. Yep. And this is what happens to mango seed in time. It will soften and break down and I see worms in here yep okay this is a red wiggler yellow tail me maybe get this bigger one okay This is the Perionyx worm. This is the Clytellum, kind of whitish in color, and it's closest to the head of the of the worm. And it's always flushed, but I do see, you know, sometimes when they're um, shortened, I do see it kind of bulging, and there is no stripings that is observable and it's kind of whitish instead of yellowish okay so that's the perionics now this one as in contrast you would see that the red wiggler is 50 percent fatter and longer now you can see a pattern at the tail and it's, there's a yellowish tinge, especially when you turn it over, you'll see that. That's the tail. And this is the head of the red wiggler. And even at the head, you can see that there are some stripings, when they, especially when they, stretch that, when they stretch out. Okay. And see, I don't know if this one has a clitellum yet. Probably not. Okay, let me get something with clitellum. What happened to my uh? Okay, let me find a good representation of a uh, red wiggler. This one, this one, okay, it has a bulging, bulging clitellum. It's farther from the head as opposed to this uh, perionyx whose clitellum is closer to the head. There you go, okay. 
And I was gonna show you the yellow. Uh, I'll show you the yellow tail. Okay, kind of yellowish. Okay, and you can see the the head has some powder, uh, some stripings there. Some I've seen some red wigglers whose yellowing can go half of its body. And but one thing that I noticed with the European Nightcrawler, the yellowing is almost oh up to the clitellum, and the stripings is all throughout its body. So that's that. Okay, thank you for watching.